Hello and welcome to Mouseless Browsing. My name is Rudolf Neu, I'm the man behind Mouseless Browsing and I want to show you what is new in the version 0 to 5 in the next couple of uh, minutes. First thing is that you can now define your own character set for generating IDs, so the IDs are no longer limited to numeric IDs, to numbers, and so now you can easily surf uh, without the mouse also with your laptop where is no numbered av available. Uh, next thing is there's one big limitation to that there are no modifiers available for opening links in new tab or a new window because this would of course heavily interfere with default shortcuts and there's also no exclusive uh, mode for mouse browsing available with uh, character IDs. The next thing is <coughs> that you can now define or configure the modifiers you want to use. Uh, I've introduced that because uh, the default modifier for enabling IDs within an editable elements, if you don't use uh, exclusive mode, uh, was control plus number then, and this uh, interferes with uh, the default behavior of uh, Firefox uh, to switch tabs with control and number. So I've uh, decided to make everything configurable. You can now define which modifiers you want to use for opening links in your tab. And there are two new modifier combinations available, uh, two new options that you can open links in your windows and you can open links in Colerus Preview. By default it's uh, this, this is the default but I want to I change this so that we can show what is Colerus Preview. This is a quite popular um, Firefox add-on where iframe is included uh, into the page and a preview is visible. Uh, and when you leave, so here you see when, when you leave it, the iframe vanishes. So these are the new options for this. Then there is a new option which is by default ticked on is that IDs are shown before all images are loaded. So uh, that implies that the IDs are visible much faster. You see here the uh, CNN.com. Oh, that was not a good idea. I want to show you. <coughs> so it's loading. Oh, so fast. <laughs> I want to show you what that it's uh, that's still loading and the, the IDs are visible. So the IDs are now visible quite earlier. Next thing is that uh, the maximum number of IDs is by default limited to 1000. That prevents the freezing of uh, Firefox in case of pages with a huge number of links because that also that takes too long time for mouseless browsing to initialize and therefore this limitation to 1000 you can change it of course. I introduced a new tab like called Layout. Here the uh, known visibility of IDs, which can you configure? Nothing have changed, has changed here. And But I have introduced some new layout options. This is Smart Positioning and with Smart Positioning it is meant that um, the IDs for image uh, links and text fields, text areas, select boxes are positioned in the right upper corner so that the impact of uh, on the page layout is minimized. I think that's pretty nice. The drawback of this of course is that it takes a little bit longer to initialize because the uh, positions has to be computed. Next thing, there is now an icon and um, here is an icon available now and uh, the key buffer and also a menu item. This can all be deactivated and uh, get a, you can get rid of this by deactivating this, um, these checkboxes. Next thing, in styles there are only minor changes. Now you have your text areas and you can every time, uh, anytime you want, you can restore the defaults here by pressing the button and you have a preview for this. Next big feature is that you can now define black and white lists. So maybe we I can show you with that here. Let's go to Google and search for mouseless 
Um, and then on the result page, maybe you also use um, Google Advanced Keys, which enables you to completely um, navigate within the Google search with the uh, cursor keys. And so, yeah, oh, I can I don't need the uh, IDs here on that page. So now you can press Shift Control Alt R, and the configuration dialog is opened with the URL rules tab focused and then the first field you put in your URL pattern where the star character is a wildcard character and say okay hide all IDs make add and apply and now for this page with this pattern the uh, the IDs will not appear so and you can also say if you prefer the mode that IDs are only shown on demand that you deactivate this here or also the use numpad exclusively for master's browsing can be deactivated or activated for certain pages last thing is that um, I redesigned the uh, key configuration uh, that's only minor stuff here are also new postfix key which you can configure for opening link in new window and opening link in Colerus preview which is by default the numpad divide key and the numpad multiply key and there are two quite uh, nice uh, uh, keys available or shortcuts available the first one is to blur the active element uh, that's for I assign it uh, by default they are they are not assigned because I don't want to interfere. I want to don't want to irritate the the, the users, but I would uh, propose to assign it to the escape key. <coughs> that is the case if you by default often the pages focuses the first, um, for example, the search field, and then you can't scroll, and therefore just press uh, escape, and then you can scroll easily. And there's a second um <coughs> shortcut to block um the user input completely for mouse browsing. I don't know in on Yahoo the search field here is automatically focused when uh, entering something. Yes. Uh I should switch if you and if that's only a problem if you don't use numpad exclusively for mouse for mouseless browsing um, if you use character defined characters uh, as IDs then it's not possible to to activate these uh, IDs because I can blur now the text field but in the next case it's uh, focused again uh, when you press the key so therefore I introduced a shortcut which uh, blocks the input for mouse browsing for a certain time. The time is the same as defined here, the delay for automatic execution clearing key buffer. Eh? So um, let's say it's also escape. So now I have to be fast, escape, FA, and now you can browse that. Okay, that was the new features of mouseless browsing. Thank you for your attention. I hope you have uh, fun with mouseless browsing and I would really appreciate if you give me feedback and suggestions for new features. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.